Hey guys, Woods Farm here at Project 222, just back out in the shop working on the scout car. Today is going to be the day where we finally wrap up a bunch of smaller projects, get those scratched off the list, so stick around and check it out. So in the last couple of videos, I've kind of been jumping all over the place and we've got a lot of little things that are um, half completed. Uh, today, we're going to work on wrapping up some of these smaller projects so we can cross them off the list, uh, starting with getting the cooling system sorted out and uh, finishing up where we left off there. Uh, I've got a bracket to reinstall, some uh, rad hoses to change out. We're going to top off the system and see if we can purge it and get any of the air bubbles that might be in there out. So that'll be the first thing. And then we're going to move on to some smaller stuff and get that also crossed off our list. This video is going to be more of a show and tell format um, because I have a lot of little things to finish up. I think I'm just going to do the work and then I'll go and I'll show you what we've accomplished. But you can see I got a lot of stuff laid out here. Uh, managed to get down and get some new rad hoses um, the other day. So we've got those ready to go. Here's the bracket that I finished up um, in the last video. This is a custom bracket to hold the upper rad hose. Uh, picked up a lot of uh, primer when I was down in the U.S. It's a lot cheaper at Lowe's down there. Um, so we've got that. So we're going to get started here working on the cooling system and we'll go from there. There's the uh, jack that uh, Gene sent us. Um, it's going to go right up in there. So I got to make some mounts. Um, I may or may not get to that in this video. I'd like to, but the main thing is we want to finish a bunch of the, the half completed projects. So here's the engine and we're going to deal with some of these cooling issues that we've got already got the new water pump sorted out now this is was i'm very unfortunate because this was a fairly expensive rad hose it's a flexi hose and it's got a 90 degree preset bend perfect fit for here but i think in the process of doing some fabricating um a little bit of weld splatter hit the hose there and melted it it is not leaking but long term i don't really trust this hose and since the cooling system is drained out right now um i figured it was a good time to invest in a new hose and swap it out and just a little bit of insurance of course i'm going to keep this as a spare throw it in the parts hoard because it isn't leaking yet but i just don't trust it there's that other rad hose bracket um you can see it's kind of right at the joint between the, the one hose and this one here, which I got basically instead of having a bunch of extra hose, I think it was about six inches too long and it was kind of just moving everything into a weird position. I got the proper length to go in here. It'll just clean things up a little bit.
Okay, so I had to monkey around with it a bit. Um, it did seem to overheat at first, but after I played around with it, trying to get the uh, air out of the system, it seemed to want to hold around 170. Um, I want to say that's well within operating temperatures. The engine seemed warm, but um, like I said, the temperature gauge, 170. Um, it was interesting when I turned the engine off and cut the fan, I think without the coolant circulating, you could see the uh, the temperature gauge would actually spike up a bit uh, for a while and then it would cool down. But I ran it for quite a while. I actually ran out of gas twice and uh, refueled, started it up again, probably half an hour, 40 minutes of idling uh, in total. And um, it the rad did not boil over. So I'm going to call that a win. Um, we are not really going to know how it's going to operate until we get the engine deck on and we deal with that as well. <laughs> guys as you can see we got the shovel mounted uh thanks gene for sending us those mounting brackets it made uh, for easy work we just had to attach them also got the little hatch cover uh completed for the access to the um rad cap uh, on that top cover plate that goes over top of the radiator area that's done and out of the way so we can cross that off the list so the next thing we're going to start working on is uh, since we got a jack we're going to make the jack mounts so we can get it mounted onto the rear fender
Okay guys, uh, like I said, things are starting to really come together quickly now with a lot of this detail work. Uh, really happy with the way the driver's side has turned out. We pretty much have all the detailed stuff on the driver's side. So I think in the next video, we're gonna move to the passenger side. I do have some seam welding to do on that rear fender and in that area, that's kind of boring, but we're also gonna start working on the spare tire mount which goes on the passenger side. So that'll be coming up in the next couple of videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.